Hey and welcome to Discart. Today we are going to be talking about a shoebox. Yeah, I know it's crazy, but that's what we do here on Discard is find weird ideas for displaying things in people's game collections. And we have a shoebox today that may just fit the bill for a cool display for your game collection. Let's take a look. So it was recently pointed out to me that there was this image on Reddit of this shoe box and it had some retro games in it. This was pointed out to me by Waves and Games, another awesome YouTube channel. But it just got the juices flowing and I looked at this. Maybe this thing would work as a display for somebody's game collection as a way to kind of keep dust off the games but still be able to visually see them and get some that secondary use that we're all looking for out of our video games, which is display. Now first off, I'll have you know that there are a ton of different shoe boxes out there apparently for these shoe collections. Collectors. So there's tons to pick from, lots of options, and I just happen to pick the one that has a sliding portion to it and an opening door and a bunch of extra functions to it that can make it a little bit more handier for somebody who's trying to get to their games quickly. The shoebox I picked comes from a company called Coco. We'll, we'll call it Coco because I cannot pronounce this big, long, capitalized name. I assume this is just some kind of random front Chinese company that's pumping these out. But what they claim you could do with this is pull at the bottom and it would kind of slide out the bottom portion of it while also opening up the, the front of it, kind of like a garage door would, and as it slides back into the box itself. It sounds really cool, uh, like a very futuristic design, and if it worked well, I'd be really into it. Now these did cost a little bit over $50, which is a little bit less than a modern video game. That's kind of how I balance out the costs of different ideas. It's, it's like how many video games am I giving up in order to buy this display idea so I could display said video games. And this is a little bit over $50 and ended up with three of them for a little bit over $50, which is, is a pretty good deal if, if these work out. I mean, these are definitely no small thing. They're not as small as like a shoe box that your shoes would come in from the manufacturer. These are some big boxes meant to display some big shoes in a big way. But yeah, when these things arrive, they arrive in pieces, you have all the walls of it, and you kind of snap all these things together. And it sounds really easy, but it's definitely not. There's a couple little wires in there that connect to the front door, and you've got to connect those into some other connectors inside. And it takes a lot of finagling to be able to put this thing together. Once it's together, it looks really good. But just keep in mind, it's definitely not an easy process of putting this thing together and it just slaps together and you're good to go. It took me a lot of kind of figuring out and finagling with to kind of understand how this all interlocked. But once you get it all slapped together and you kind of test it out a little bit and it works, then you get to see the full function of this thing. And it is what it says it is. You pull the bottom, the bottom slides out, so the surface of which you'd be putting anything on, that thing's gonna slide right out the front, and then the door at the front will open up and kind of slide back into the actual shoe box and kind of disappear. And it's pretty cool. I mean, being able to slide out whatever you put in there and kind of it closes behind it, keeps the dust off your stuff. You get a nice clear window on the sides there so that you can see Whatever's in there, you do have some, you know, blind spots on here where you can see the white plastic kind of covers up some angles. But I think that's kind of understandable with the structure that's needed for the box. Now, outside of that feature, these of course stack on top of each other, which I'm sure I'm showing you in some B-roll now. These stack on top and look really cool as a stackable surface. I kind of want to get more of these just so I can make a big pillar of them somewhere in the game room. Just have all these drawers that I can pull out and put back in. Some of the challenges that I see being the biggest issue for people when purchasing these is the fact that they're not exactly super sturdy. So because they're very lightweight, there's no real weight holding them down to the ground. There's nothing really keeping them in place. The white plastic itself is a little bit bendable. You know, it, it doesn't get bent out of shape or anything, but you know, it wiggles back and forth when you're opening and closing the container itself. And the actual integral function of opening and closing the door itself can get slightly stuck once in a while. It's not like stuck stuck, but you kind of got to close it and open it again in order for it to work properly. And I can see that that would be kind of annoying to other people. So just keep in mind, this is definitely not a perfect creature that is out there, this perfect display box that, that does everything perfectly. But what I would consider an item like this is good enough. 
It does what it says it's gonna do. It opens and closes. I don't see it breaking anytime soon. It's not flimsy in that function. I think it's going to hold up a very long time and it displays the goods that are inside of it while also allowing you to get them out of there. And it kind of solves a problem a lot of people with game collections are always having, which is displaying stuff without getting dust on them, especially for people who don't have the time to be dusting things. Speaking of which, if you don't dust your collection very often, if you're just in there for like a second, this Opalor duster is fantastic. I highly recommend it. I had it in one of my previous videos, but boy, this thing holds up. It does exactly what it says it's gonna do. It moves a lot of air, has a little brush attachment that you can get if you do have some caked on dust from when you weren't taking care of your collection. And it's just, look how, look, look how small this thing is. And you just... But yeah, I see a lot of people commenting about their collection, getting dusty, they're afraid to display things because of that, and I would say you can display things out in the open all the time, no problem, as long as you're kind of going through with a duster like the duster I just showed you and kind of managing that dust and vacuuming and kind of taking care of your collection. So when it comes down to function of this, it does it well enough, and I can see it being used for a ton of different things. Now, what fits inside a box like this, this thing is pretty large, and you can look at the exact sizes and dimensions on the Amazon page that I link in the description, but it will fit an NES cart standing straight up if you had a stand to just stand that NES cart straight up and down. That I don't necessarily recommend because of the kind of wobbly nature of these things. When you go to pull that bottom part out, you just want to make sure things aren't super top heavy or too tall, that kind of thing. So if you have an NES cart that you want to display in a cabinet like this, then you gotta make sure it has enough of a stand underneath of it. Something like a rose colored gaming stand or one of those coin displays would work fantastic to kind of keep these holding straight up and down. You can't just simply put an NES cart in here and stand it up and expect for it to kind of hang out while you're pulling out the, the rug from underneath it. But I have found some things work really well, like these trays that I have from some of my previous videos, they work really good for Super Nintendo games. You could put figures inside of these as long as they have a big enough base that they're not gonna be really thrown off by the, the bottom coming out. And you can see in some of my shots how the light kind of plays with these. I really love stuff that, that really gets affected by the light really well. That's why I have a lot of white shelving and a lot of clear acrylic stuff. The LEDs and the different colored lights that you may have in your game room work really well with clear surfaces and kind of light those up and reflect off of them and they can make whatever's inside look really cool. So you can display things like cartridges, you can display things like figures, you can display handhelds in here if you happen to have displays for those already. But you can also use these for storing, you know, some small boxes that you had, anything that you plan to store that you do think has a little bit of display value, you can put inside these for a quick grab place. You can put controllers in these. There's a there's a lot of options for these containers. Essentially, it's it's just a container and whatever your collection is will probably work really well with it. I personally plan to use these somehow in my collection. They are very interesting to me and they're definitely different than any display that I've come across with that feature of opening and kind of having the garage door effect. I really like that. I think it's a pretty cool feature. But do I recommend this to everyone? Certainly not. This is gonna be for somebody looking for something that fits the aesthetic of their collection, how and what they want to display in their collection. There's, there's a lot of things going on here. These are just designed to stack on top of each other other. I think they'll last a long time. I think they look really good. It's certainly worth looking at it as a kind of an unusual display idea and that's what we do here on Discart is find those weird ideas for displaying things in a collection. So what do you guys think about these very special shoe boxes that uh, have garage doors and sliding bottoms and do all this crazy finagled stuff. Do you think this is right for your collection? Do you know somebody whose collection this would fit into well? Do you see somebody making an entire wall of these and just displaying all their video game goods and all these little containers and pulling them out all the time? Just let me know in the comments below. I'm always stoked to bring these ideas to the table just so people can take a look at them. Even if they don't like them, it's a cool idea. It's outside the box. That's what we do. But that's all we have for today. If you guys did like the video and you wanna see more videos with crazy display ideas like this, be sure to hit like. If you wanna see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. Outside of that, just have a fantastic day today and collect what you love. Man, maybe I need to get into the, the collecting shoe game, you know? Wonder how many d display ideas those guys are coming up with.